drinks are a great way to refresh in hot weather, warm up in cold weather, or just enjoy a great taste. But when buying them in the store, many people don't even think about the ingredients, and that's a big mistake. After all, some drinks are full with huge amounts of sugar, some are a complete lie, and some literally trap people. This is infinity. And in this episode, I'll tell you about the drinks that you'll stop buying once you know how they're made. Let's go. Say my name. Sodas. Water is an indispensable element for maintaining the body's vital functions. It restores water balance, keeps you healthy, and supports your metabolism. Soda also sounds not particularly bad because, in fact, it's the same water, but carbonated one, as well as with sugar and flavorings. At least, that's what a lot of people might think and not even suspect that, in fact, carbonated drinks can cause tremendous harm to the body, at least because they contain so much sugar and coloring agents. Sugar, in excessive amounts, increases blood glucose levels, which can lead to the development of diabetes in the future. Secondly, these drinks are far more caloric than you might imagine. It really would be less harmful to eat a bun than drink your favorite soda. And if we consider that all modern sodas are made on such a principle that they don't quench thirst but only provoke to drink more, a person gets into a vicious cycle and it can be quite problematic to get out of this circle. In addition, orthophosphoric acid is used in the production of carbonated drinks. It's extremely dangerous to the body because it washes out calcium, it worsens dental health, increases bone and nail fragility, and can also provoke the development of osteoporosis and tooth decay. And then there are the most obvious – bloating, problems with the gastrointestinal tract, and discomfort inside. And one famous drink contains in its composition such a mixture that it can even be used to clean rust. In addition, I'll share some more interesting facts about soda. For example, according to scientist studies, it gives an explosive charge of energy and brings a feeling of euphoria. However, it passes very quickly and the opposite reaction occurs – inhibition and decreased mental activity. In addition, carbonated drinks inhibit brain function in general and raise cholesterol levels. Say my name. Coffee. Many people will prefer coffee to soda because this drink seems to be natural. Everyone drinks it and just talks about the benefits. But is it really so? There will be benefit only if you drink natural coffee in small quantities. But as soon as the product is not natural and moreover you start to abuse it, a number of troubles will appear. For example, under no circumstances should you drink coffee during pregnancy because the drink triggers an increased allocation of cortisol, the stress hormone, by the adrenal glands. The increase in its level can cause hormonal imbalance. Moreover, you don't need to have your hand read to know that coffee contains caffeine and in turn kills vitamins B, PP, reduces the iron, potassium, zinc, and calcium in the body. 150 milliliters of coffee inhibits the absorption of calcium for three hours. Moreover, caffeine washes calcium out of the body and the bones become brittle as a result of coffee abuse. Also, caffeine is not our body's best friend because of conflicts with the immune system. Again, it's all about the thyroid gland. Limited thyroid performance leads to a weakened immune system which causes illness. This list of problems with coffee could go on for a very long time. But I think you get the point. And most importantly, I'm just talking about regular coffee. Now, imagine how undesirable it would be to consume coffee from the store, which on top of that has a huge dose of various impurities. Some will say that the rhythm of life grows faster every year, and because of this, people can't avoid drinking coffee. Others who may not like the taste of coffee beans or just a warm drink prefer energy drinks for the same purpose, to get a boost of energy and cope with the task of the day. After all, if you believe the inscriptions on the bottle, the drink contains good old caffeine, a whole bunch of vitamins, and in general, it looks as if it can be given even to children. But in fact, there is a huge trick lurking here. Every bottle of energy drink can really give you a boost of energy, except, in fact, it won't give it to you. It will only borrow it from your body system. In this way, you'll be satiated, you'll gain strength, which will be with you for the next few hours. But after that, it will leave you again and it will only get worse. Many people think that they need another energy drink, drink it, the process will repeat, but the strength will become even less. Thus, a person gets into a trap from which it's not easy to get out of. 
In addition, the trap is aggravated by the fact that energy drinks are made from a bumper dose of sugar. It's about as much as there is in Coca-Cola. This is done because sugar is dopamine in its purest form. Hungry blood has lower glucose levels, and by drinking an energy drink, you give your brain not only a boost through caffeine, but also a boost of glucose through sugar. The body thanks you for this by releasing dopamine, which means you're in a good mood. Remember I mentioned vitamins in the beginning? Well, in this case, they're a real marketing ploy. Vitamin B has nothing to do with the psychostimulating effect. An energy drink is kind of expensive caffeine. For the price of such bottle, you could buy instant coffee and consume it for a week. Say my name. Milk. Right now you're like, what? Say what? How can milk be on par with energy drinks or Coca-Cola? Well, it's not. But it's still quite dangerous when it comes to packaged milk from stores. The bottom line is that in this case, the manufacturer almost always uses powdered milk. Industrial drying at high temperatures in such milk oxidizes fats and produces elements that are precursors of pathogenic processes in the body and contribute to the development of atherosclerosis. Moreover, milk that's passed through several stages of purification gets into stores. As a result, a product that's practically devoid of useful substances turns out to be in stores. Because of this, people believe that people, especially the elderly ones, should not drink such milk under any circumstances. Here, people fall into a trap, as they cannot drink packaged milk because it's harmful, and they can't drink whole milk either because, according to statistics, many people are lactose intolerant. By the way, also milk should not be drunk by young children, as it's a very strong allergen due to the presence of lactose milk sugar in its composition. Say my name. Juices. How do we do without them? People who have quit drinking harmful sodas think that juice is a much healthier drink, whether it's packaged, store-bought, or freshly squeezed juice. Is it really so? Let's find out. Let's start with packaged juice. No matter what they say, it will be harmful in any case. One glass of such a juice can contain 10 teaspoons of sugar, and this is three times the daily rate. Also, almost all juice manufacturers do not make the product from natural fruit. That would be too expensive and complicated. They make concentrate first. Concentrated juices are kept frozen until it's time to use them. In factories, the concentrate is diluted with water and pasteurized, that is, heated to a certain temperature to prevent the growth of harmful microorganisms, thereby giving the juice a longer life. After all these temperature manipulations, vitamins and minerals are destroyed. Here people will think, well, in that case, I'll just go and make the juice myself. I'll take some oranges, squeeze them well, and drink the juice. I won't add sugar, which means I'll only help my body with vitamins. Do a bit. Basically, fruits are all praised for increasing fiber and decreasing the number of fats in the diet. But it's important to keep in mind that all of this is due to the skin of the fruit. Juices do not contain these benefits. All you're doing is squeezing the concentrate. Now, imagine if you could eat, say, five oranges in a row. I don't think so. And that's how many oranges you squeeze for juice, just for one cup. Because of this, your body won't have time to digest this vitamin bomb, and overabundance will happen, which can lead to allergies and indigestion illness. Uh-oh! Because of this, it's always important to dilute the juice. This will help neutralize the acidity and not harm the stomach. Say my name. Ice tea. I'm talking about store-bought iced teas. They contain caffeine, flavorings, colorings, and a lot of preservatives. To be clear, two liters of such a drink contains only 15% tea and about 47 sugar cubes. And to make it all pleasant for the body, manufacturers dilute the mixture with oxidants, flavorings, and all sorts of other things. In addition, iced tea is a stimulant for phlegm accumulation. It's especially dangerous to drink it in summer because of dehydration of the body at high temperatures outside. Say my name. Beer. A drink made of malt, hops, and water has long been in demand among adults. They're always happy to relax with their favorite beer and forget about their problems. After all, it's so great to drink something that you know what it's made of. But do you really know how most beers are made? The main thing about low-quality beers is mainly the low levels of hops and malt. Water also plays an important role. It's essential that it be crystal clear and not mix and spoil the flavors. Completely unscrupulous manufacturers can use ordinary, untreated water, because of which people have health problems. 
For example, if a person drinks such water all their life, then about two buckets of chlorine and one iron nail will accumulate in their organism. You have to admit, this is something very few people would want. Well, it's no secret that beer is often made from powders. But not the ones you first thought of. These powders are fine. They're made from natural ingredients, but still, the fact itself can make one go wary. That's all, guys. Which drink do you feel differently about now? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.